what motivates me? Motivation. So, minding my own business. And it's late. Wife's out of town. She's in Atlanta. I'm supposed to be in Atlanta and I didn't go. Um, I had to deal with this court stuff. I had a doctor's appointment today. Blah, blah, blah. But what motivates people? I'm flipping through the news and I see Sotomayor. And, you know, then I get on the internet a little bit and I see where Obama told people your destiny is in your own hands. I'm bored, I'm tired. It gets late. Yeah. Yes, sir. I didn't know Chuck Norris was actually in SoCal 3. What? I didn't know Chuck Norris was actually in SoCal 3. You didn't know Chuck Norris was in a video game? Yeah. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. It's interesting. Interesting. Like I said, motivation. So, I'm watching this. You know, BBC. You know, they're talking about these bombings. So, okay. Kept going. And I come across this black guy. And he's talking some serious heavy shit. And I'm noticing as the show shapes up. Man is living in his car. Young guy living in a car. I'm thinking, yeah. He's in New York. And he's struggling. He's tired. He's broke down. Motivation. What motivates me? So, I'm still watching this show. I'm still watching it right now as we speak. This is what hurts. You can go to war for the United States of America and you can come back with nothing. I'm watching these veterans complain about the VA. And they're trying to motivate these people. How can you motivate a group of people that you've put through the ringer? You've put through all this crap, and when they come home, they don't even have a place to live? And this guy's like, oh, veterans, we, we need to stand up and speak. They have veterans from every war living in the streets of America. Right now there's some hey we got people from the Gulf War coming in. We got we got people from Vietnam coming in. So for a couple weeks they I guess they they built this big old camp for all the vets to come get some health care and everything. But for two weeks two weeks is not a lifetime. You go fight in a war for whatever reasons and you come back home and you have no place to live you your woman and your kids in a car does that translate into making people want to go fight for this country how does that translate seeing veterans seeing people barely came out, barely make it alive, people, limbs blown off, homeless. How can this be? There's no place. There's no place for veterans. Then there should be no war. If you have no will or determination to take care of these people who live and die for the name of war or in the name of war then there shouldn't be any war there shouldn't be it's this woman right here I'm I know you can't see this 
she should not have had to go fight someplace to come home and not have a home to come to. If that's the case, you should just stay in the military forever until they tell you you can't be here no more. Until they tell you no. It's pitiful. Somebody can go die in your name. Somebody can hurt. It's pitiful. The name of this show I'm watching right now is it's on Lynx TV. It just says When I Came Home is the name of the documentary. It's in 2006. It's almost four years ago. The sad part of watching this show is it made me get up and it motivated me to speak. This is how I find my motivation. It could be sci-fi texting me, you know, about a death or you know, somebody just calling me and dropping me a little, a little knowledge. But seeing these veterans searching, hunting, looking, begging, pleading for some kind of help, something. If we can spend trillions of dollars overseas, then maybe they should have kept one of those trillions right here, specifically for the veterans, and only for the veterans. This should actually be in the war budget. You got this man out here, look like he's sweeping the streets in New York right now. I'm trying to find anything for work. And people, like, like this guy said, he's been evaluated by four doctors and they're saying he's crazy now. He wasn't crazy before he went to Iraq, but he's crazy on the way back. And nobody wants to help him. Um, I remember in the early 80s, people were complaining about Ronald Reagan shutting down the mental hospitals and throwing people in the streets and everything. We get what we ask for. Exactly. We get exactly what we ask for. We ask these people to go out and fight wars, and when they come home, we don't give them nothing. And if somebody flipped out, went a wall 151 brain goes lo loony and loco when you want to rob somebody or whatever then they'd be like oh it's just another criminal gone bad flipped out veteran if you send thousands upon thousands of people over to fight a battle and thousands and thousands come home not all of them are going to come home in the exact same manner in which they left they need something some kind of respect some kind of help, some kind of love for those they almost died for. Or, is it the truth that a soldier is always expendable? Is that true? That their lives were forfeit when they left? Is that true? That they don't deserve nothing after going over there and killing in the name of war? What motivates you? What is motivation? The will to come home and be back with their family motivated them enough to survive. What is their motivation when they get back here and find that the world is turned on? Just like all those movies in the 60s and 70s about how people were left behind, we're going to start seeing more and more of those movies pop up. You've been tubed. Listen to the end of this for 10 seconds. Now he's walking in the rain.